Good evening everybody, I just wanted to make a video going over how I would build and design some of the rooms in Vault 88. This was actually an idea, a video requested by, to respect their privacy, I'm only going to say their first name, uh, the individual's name was Joe, he wanted a video going over this, he asked around a month ago, I said I would do it, I apologize for the delay, I wanted to do it as soon as possible, I just have been very busy. But I decided even if he didn't need it anymore, uh, other people have been commenting on some of the Vault 88 videos, so I figured there's at least one other person in the world who could benefit from a video like this. I am playing on computer. I'm not very good at the controls because I never really played that much on this platform, so I do apologize for that. So this game is very, very dark for some reason. I actually turned the brightness up on my monitor so I could see what I was doing. I plan to edit that in post so if it looks a little bit like too bright, too con uh, contrasty, I did it on purpose just so you guys watching could actually see what was going on. And the last thing is Vault 88 for some reason. The team who made this DLC decided they wanted a huge part of this DLC to be exploration so there's a lot of caves and caverns which is fun to explore the first time. But when it comes to building a vault, it's not very good. So that once you build the atrium, there's essentially not a lot of room to work with, sadly. Unless you want like a lot of tunnels, which nobody wants in their vault. It just, eh. But with that little rant out of the way, um, when it comes to the rooms, I like to start by building a cafeteria and I always like to put the cafeteria on the right side. When it comes to building the actual atrium, I just think it looks better having an odd number of pieces across. When it comes to building the cafeteria, I am going to, you can choose where you want to put the doors and windows, but for me, I'm going to put a door there and I'm going to put one window there. The first thing you want to do is, so you want to go ahead, scrap this wall, scrap this one, and then make your way to the atrium section under the vault category. And there you just want to find the door and window with the roof respectively. So the door there, I would like one window there. And when it comes to the window, for whatever reason, you actually want to place the window after placing one wall. Because if you place both walls and then try to put the window afterwards, it just doesn't let you. And then when it comes to building the actual cafeteria, it's up to you on how big you would like it to be. For me, I'm just going to do... One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm just going to do three by seven. And a quick thing too, while you're building it, I like to do it afterwards just because it's easier for me, but there's actually um, three different walls. They have different patterns on them. So there's this one, and then there's this one, which I will refer to as pattern one. And this one I will refer to as pattern two. This one has a hamburger on it. This one, a hot dog. What I like to do is kind of create a pattern. So it's blank, pattern one, blank, pattern two, blank, pattern one, blank, pattern two. You get the idea. It just gives the cafeteria a little bit more um, pizzazz. I like to do it after because I'm usually not that conscious about building materials, but if you are, to keep that in mind. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead do a door there. I'm going, I guess you can't right now. I'll do the rest later. I'm going to just do the basic walls for now. Find the corner piece. Build one there. I said I wanted it to be three by seven. So one of those.
one of these. side as well. Find the corner. Find the wall. And when it comes to building the floor and the roof in the middle, you just gotta find the prefab that's called mid. What sucks about building rooms specifically is unless you want a staircase on the outside, you can't actually have a room that's two walls high. It sucks, but there's just no way around it unless of course you want to add a staircase coming out the back or the side, looping up, and then having another uh, one by one prefab. There's no other way without mods, sadly. I'm just gonna go ahead, jump back in there. This is what we have. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove this one just so I can go ahead and add the window. And there we are. Let me put the door here quickly. For some reason, the door, the windows are under the door category. Uh, how do I exit out of there? But just to give you an idea what it would look like on the outside, there you are. Of course, you can go ahead and add... Oops, I did not mean to do that. Under the sign section, I believe. Decorations? I'm pretty sure there's vault signs. That are meant to go above the doors, and one of them does say cafeteria on it. I'm not sure where that is, though. Maybe it's under vault. No. Nope. It could be under lighting as well. Just because... Oh, they do... Nope. What would they be under? Decorations... Under miscellaneous, maybe? Under decorations vault? Okay, under decorations vault signs, you have these ones. And they do light up if you give them power. I will explain how power works in a second. But... Now, if this was my personal build, I would take the time to line it up properly in the middle of the door there. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to place it like that. But yeah, cafeteria time there. It does light up. And another thing I like to do with the windows, which I will showcase later, I'd like to put, um, I'd like to spell out LED signs. So I might put, um, lunch, breakfast, dinner, hungry, um, any kind of, I guess, adjective to describe the cafeteria. It was just something I seen another person do one time and I thought it looked really cool. I'm trying to think of what you could put there. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. I'm pulling a blank. But it does look pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, go back in here. Just to, I talked about this in some of my other videos, but just to go over it again quickly, how, how I like to power and light these rooms, you want to go ahead and find these vault tech lights, fluorescent ceiling lights. What you can do, you can actually place them in the roof. So kind of up in above the roof there. So what actually happens when you power it up it will light the room, but you won't see the actual light itself. So this I discovered without mods is the closest way to make your vault look like some of the other ones in the game. And of course, I'm only putting one light per ceiling tile, but if you wanted it to be brighter, 
just add more lights accordingly. And then assuming you power the vault up correctly, you want to make your way to connectors and switches and you want to find just a vault power conduit. Um, I'm just going to put two on the wall. Hopefully that's enough, but yeah, it lights the room. And if we did it correctly, this light should be lit up on the outside there like so. The only other thing I want to show when it comes to lights, you have the neon lights here. So for example, I'll use purple. I'm trying to think of something that would look good on the winner, on the window, sorry. You could put something just like I'll just put food, just because I can't think of anything else at the moment. Try and put it in the middle when you do it, but to just give you an idea what it looks like, it looks really cool, because now you have that, especially when the cafeteria is all decorated to just kind of have the LED on the window there. It looks really nice. Food. But the last thing you got to do for the room, or for this room specifically, because there is the multiple patterns, you want to go ahead and space those out. So make your way back to the cafeteria. Um, where would I like to start the pattern? Blank, pattern one, blank, pattern two, blank, pattern one. Oh yeah, so that has pattern one, blank. Pattern two, blank, pattern one, blank. Pattern two, blank. So we'll just go ahead. It's going to remove the lights. I should have did it in a different order, my apologies. And the conduits on the wall. I'll just do it again quickly and edit it out. Not waste anybody's time. So hamburger, hot dog, hamburger, hot dog. Hamburger hot dog, hamburger hot dog. It just helps to give some variety. And now let me just go ahead and add the lights again quickly. And of course, when it comes to adding the lights, you can spam them. It will take a lot of resources, I find, especially if you're playing without the use of mod glitches or console commands. Lighting the vault takes a lot of resources, but you can like spam it to make it as bright as possible. Be careful not to accidentally place some under the roof. But of course, if you do, you can literally just pick it up and move it. It does it automatically for you. But with lights, with the pattern, it gives a little bit of additional decoration, some variety. How I like to decorate it. A lot of the decorating is just going to be finding the boosts. They come with the Vault Tech Workshop. If you have the Nuka Cola Creation Club mod, I do, I just don't have it installed because I couldn't be bothered. Um, you get like Nuka Cola themed ones. But if this is my personal save, I would do my best to line it up and make it as straight as possible. But essentially, you just want to go ahead and add like. It probably makes more sense to have it here on the corner. Something like that. Oh, not like that. And then just build it down. I 
And of course, too, if you didn't want them to be connected, you could separate them and line them up with the individual walls. So one in the middle here, one in the middle of the window there, one in the middle of the window there, one in the middle there kind of thing. You could even do like in between them as well. It's just to give you an idea on how to decorate the place. Now, when it comes to in the middle there, you can do more benches. You can do picnic tables or you can kind of like using it'd be under the tables category using some of the tables they give you as well you can kind of make more more kind of like formal seating as well for people who don't want just the booths but yeah, you would essentially do as many as you want, boosts all the way down, a mix between boosts, tables, so just to just give you an idea, you know, have a table here, um, head, to the, head to the seating, under the seating, I just want basic white ones. There you go, a table there kind of thing. Or if you wanted to do picnic tables down to, I think the picnic tables make more sense for a vault cafeteria. I tend to save this kind of table design for in the rooms, but you could do picnics kind of across. And then to kind of finish it off, there are, I like to do things such as more lights or under decorations like vault there's like a bunch of posters so if you wanted to do like posters another poster there kind of thing you get the idea there's also just under like the decorations wall tab there's like paintings you could put on the wall some of the abstract paintings look really nice like these ones if you wanted to put those on the wall in the cafeteria those were these work as well. These look really cool, some of these ones, because some of them are, I did not mean to put those ones there. Some of them are food related. So, or jukebox one, cigarette one, Nuka Cola ones. You can light them. Some of them don't require power. Some of them do. But you can lie them up to light them up. Pretty sure some of them don't require power anyway, and they're just standalone. Or maybe they just have different lights at the top. Um, these as well like the new color floats the waffles one just to give you an idea of what can go on the wall there those are some of the things I like to use of course when you're doing it you would be more lenient with how many you place so you would line them up properly and the only other thing that works really well for the cafeteria I like to put crates all around the bar, all around the vault, sorry, just because they don't give you a lot to work with. The only other thing I like to do is, so first you want to head to tables and these counters. So there's, I don't like using this one cause there's nothing to go in the holes, but for these two counters, like for example, I line it up with the wall, but you have these two counters here. I think it's under decoration. I wish there was like a standalone vault tab at the end there. But like radios as well, garbage cans, juke boxes, you know, anything, you know, if you really wanted. Some meat bags. I'm joking. Um, 
But yeah, like these things, like there's an expression machine. You line it up properly. But like that looks good there. They're not under there, but there's like more dispensers. They don't do anything, but they look cool. I think they're under furniture actually. But these things, there's like these dispensers that you would see in the other vaults. You could put some of these on the counters. You can have as little or as many as you want. You could kind of make like a bar as well. Put a radio on that. I like to have the water fountains in and around the vault or in and around the cafeteria as well for people to drink. But to kind of give you an idea on how you're expected to, uh, how you're expected, sorry, um, on how I decorate it, that's how. Uh, for the overseer's room, the overseer's room is probably the most, like, I did not mean to do that, oops. It's probably the most convoluted just because you don't have a lot of space to work with depending on how big you make the atrium. You're kind of forced to do a double where it's. But. I'm going to go ahead before I forget. I am going to put the window in there. But for the overseer's room, all you can really do is. Just like the cafeteria, the overseer's room does have like two different walls to choose from. So if you'd like to differentiate the two, you do have that. See, my, my atrium is seven across, and we're running out of room here. So, like, that's the worst part. But, as the overseer, you understand because you gotta make the sacrifices for the vault, you know? Or just cut the atrium space down to have a bigger overseer's quarter. Whatever works best for you. Have like the vault be like, or like the people have nothing, but like the overseer's room is huge. In order to access the second floor, I believe it's under domestic. What you want to do is have a hallway to doorway, hallway to doorway there. Oh. Then you actually want the... If it will fit anyway, you want the staircase. I don't actually... Do we have enough room for it on this side? I don't think we do. I believe... You can only do it on the left side because there's not enough room on the right side. I'm not joking. But on this side it should work better. I, I have done it before so I know it does work. On this side. It's an atrium. Oh. Domestic. We do have... The hallway to doorway, so... One of those there. And then the staircase should work over here. Yes. And then when we get to the top... We want another hallway to doorway with the doorway facing towards the middle or the overseer's window. 
then when we walk in here you would add the door and stuff but i like to have this kind of be like a security room for the overseer so i would have like a security desk here i would kind of turn this into like a waiting area so people who were waiting to see me i would have like sofas couch maybe a tv and a radio kind of thing so to kind of give a demonstration i would under defense because you have these also a quick thing actually for the cafeteria i also like to put the cooking stations in there just because it makes sense like a security room there and then I like these couches specifically you know like have a nice couch a rug a TV and stuff just to give you an idea and then up here a similar story you want to head to the rooms again over here and you want to connect to this time, like so Overseer's window. Just like with the cafeteria, if you're wanting to differentiate it a little bit, make it a little bit more unique. You do have two different kinds of walls. So you have like the regular one, and then you have another one, which looks a little bit different. So if you wanted to do the pattern of one, 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 one. These ones have little indents compared to the other ones, just to give it a little bit more detail. And then how I essentially decorate the overseer's room is, so I would kind of have it so the overseer's desk is there facing the window. I would kind of have like bed and storage over here. Here I would have like a power armor station, some of the some of the consoles just look nice. I think under decorations vault. There's all these consoles. I think they look really cool in the overseer's room, especially like behind the desk. Just to give you some ideas. You could put workstations here. Um, decorate it how you want, essentially. And if this still isn't enough space for you, because you do not have a huge amount of space to work with here. You could always do a third floor. I believe anyway. You could always do like a third floor over here and have it be one more. So like, for example, the bottom floor, just some ideas could be a security checkpoint slash waiting room. This could be an office with the computer desk terminals and stuff. And then the top floor could be your personal quarters if you wanted to get that fancy. Kind of just repeat the same pattern we did here where it's a stairwell and hallways to doorways. Another thing I like to do is when it comes to building a bathroom, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't 
offer you anything in game but i'd like to do another um corner doorway and kind of have a two by two a two by two a two by two room which just common walls because they're gray and make a bathroom so i don't think i would be able to do it over there we might be able to do it over here for lucky i'll scrap this but... oh my mistake there And you can kind of just have a bathroom. Just because I feel like it's something every overseer should have. Because I think it's under the furniture tab. At the end here. Yeah, there's like toilets. Sinks, water fountain. There's some like cabinets slash carts if you wanted to get really. You can decorate it with lights and posters. There's some like Vault Tech posters that like remind you to wash your hands and stuff. Do you have like mods for mirrors and stuff? You can put them above these sink. I always you have to have it two by two just because there's no way to make like a one by one room. I wish you could. Whenever I do like a personal bathrooms, it does look a little bit empty just cause you, there's not a lot to fill it up with. And um, you have a two by two space, but of course I don't use mods. So it's a lot harder. Like some mods you can get like showers and bathtubs and stuff. You really spruce it up however you want. I'm just kind of roughly going over how I would design it in my prime. I used to spend hours just building and decorating settlements i honestly like i don't want to flatter myself too much but i honestly think i had some of the some of the best like settlements in terms of just people who wouldn't use mods or glitches or anything just natural vanilla settlements i think some of mine were really really good i'd always have like multiple layers to everything make sure everything was straight um like I just spent a lot of time doing it, so. I kind of just know a lot too, because of all the time I've spent. Other rooms include Microsoft Defender Summary. You can do a security room if you wanted. You could do a nursery, but there's really nothing to put in the nursery, so there's not a lot of point. The clinic, a clinic's another one I like to do just because there's a lot of like clinic equipment, especially another thing too, uh, heading back to the cafeteria. If you progress through the storyline, um, what has it been? When did Fallout 4 come out? 2015, like eight years later at this point, if you haven't played the game, minor spoilers for the Vault Tech DLC. There's some equipment you, get when you progress through the game one of them involves the cafeteria drinks another one involves eyes and medical so like more machines you could put in the clinics but like for the clinic i like to put some of the medical equipment that's in the game i like to put the eye machine that's from the dlc quest i like to put like a barber a facial reconstruction things that come with the dlc Cool stuff like that you could you'd probably want to make the clinic like three by three but you could do like a clinic over there kind of thing just so you get the idea but yeah the only other thing 
involves well i'll do the clinic quickly just so people watch and get an idea like here's a good spot for a clinic bam you want to head to atrium find the right piece bam you want to head to rooms oh not security clinic door there's no patterns in the clinic room. There's just one wall, so you don't need to worry. Beds. I would put beds in the clinic as well. And then for like decor and equipments and stuff, you would obviously have like, like a fountain, a sink, some of the cabinets there. You could have tables if you wanted. I did not mean to put that there. But a lot of it comes from bedding, of course. But there are like, um, I don't think I have them because I didn't follow through with the quest, but they're like the eye machine and stuff. I'm not sure what that would be on there. You could have a decontamination arm. That makes sense. Having a clinic. Oh, we do have them. So like we have the soda machine here. You would of course put the soda machine in the cafeteria there. It does produce happiness, so. And then we have like this machine, which you would put in the clinic. Then you also have, I'm not sure what they're under, but you do have, like you have these, a barber chair. Which you can act if you assign a settler to it, you can actually use it to change your haircut and color for free. We have a surgery chair, which for those who don't know, in Diamond City there's a doctor you can talk to and for money you can change what you look like. This allows you to do it for free in your vault. So stuff like that, bedding, chairs for people waiting. You get an idea of what you could put in a clinic, the same thing, posters on the wall and stuff, but for a clinic clinic you'd probably want to keep that to a minimum if you want traders and stuff to come to the vault you could have another room that's there's no like trader room so you would just use the basic room the common one but you could have a room with all the shops in it so if you wanted people to come visit your shop like this one these ones you want people to come visit your shop you could have a room for shopping but the most important one residential when it comes to like decorating here i'm trying to think of what i would put there mm, not a lot honestly you could maybe put like the billiards tables just more seating plants look nice depending on the build you're going for like lights even um, you want a hydroponics lab somewhere. I forgot about that. There is, not only is there a sign for that one. I know that one. Um, I think there's a room for it as well. You could just use like that, but a hydroponics lab is essentially where you would put like the garden plots. So you would assign like scientists there and they would just essentially under resources you have the garden plot, so you'd put a bunch of those in there. And it's your way of keeping it vault-like while also having like a steady supply of fruits and vegetables. Just to give you some more ideas. But when it comes to residential, um, there's two things that you can do. Some of my earliest builds, I would kind of just build the residential rooms. 
attach just here essentially on both sides on the bottom and on the edges there just because there really isn't a lot of room to work with so essentially a door here and then like a three by three residential area that would make it look nice by adding like bunk beds which i believe the bunk beds are another creation club item but they're still regular beds um seating tables workout equipment tvs just stuff you would expect in residential but what you can also do is um so kind of like here i'd only recommend building down this way because it's the only one that makes a lot of sense you could build a hallway down here and kind of build some rooms over here because there's quite a bit of room if you want a really long hallway have stairs going down there and then there's a lot of room down there to build if you wanted like a more complex series of hallways and rooms like they have in the other vaults so it's kind of like a residential section all on its own so if you wanted to do that put like a door there for example have some of the the vault hallways just the um the vault domestic hallways going down you could even spice it up too so it's some domestic hallways and then there's a period of the wide halls then it goes back to the domestic halls just use the stairs line it up as best you can to just get down there even if you have to go up and down and then there's a lot of room down there to build stuff like that it is like that in some of the other vaults so in terms of keeping it realistic at least the other vaults have had it like that or you could just kind of have it so um it's kind of like a room here that's three by three i'll kind of go over both quickly so you would want a floor bottom here Or a door bottom. So. And then if you're wanting the hallway. You could even use the dual hallway. Oh, I need another door one quickly. Hallway to doorway. Like that. And then. Let's see how much room we have left. Make a few of those there. You know, maybe to give it a little bit more decoration. We could have another doorway. And then maybe some wide halls for a little bit if it will let you. corner maybe and then kind of like another one oops another one followed by a doorway kind of thing probably want to do one we'll have to see if it'll work like this but if not just oh no it works like that fine then it lines up pretty well with the floor down here then you kind of just add rooms down here as you wish. 
If you really want it, because there is a wall you can scrap here, just a quick tidbit. The only way to kind of like have a nice system that connects to the water facility is through up here. So you could have a hallway going up here again if you wanted this to be accessible through the vault, if that makes sense. That's the only way, because if you do it the other way, it's actually too steep to build staircases, but you have all of this room to kind of have like a series of rooms and stuff. It's the only place really that's decent enough to connect. It is a pretty lengthy hallway, but it's more bearable when you have the wide rooms here. You could have like something like that. It gives you an idea, but other than that, the only other way I would do it would be to kind of just remove this. Have another atrium. Wall, and then kind of on the other side here, under quarters, to kind of build a small three by three room there. Then of course you would light it, do your own thing. And then how I would decorate it. You wanna start off, I don't have anything installed so I just kinda have the basics, but like, you know, like, a bed there maybe, a bed there. Of course it'd be a lot straighter if I was trying. For some reason I've always put there are these steamer trunks. I would always kind of put them at the end of the beds here. I think there is a suitcase somewhere, a suitcase. If you wanted like a safe, a foot locker, you could have it like sticking under the bed there. I think that looks pretty cool. And then you would go to there's like nightstands you can get like these ones the empty ones and then like under lighting for example I'll light this room up just to see what like a finished product would look like And under lighting as well there's like lamps and even though they're from wasteland workshop they're really clean so they look like they would fit in the vault um, and then yeah one power conduit should do the trick light that all up there lamps light up it looks not very nice because we're missing a light in the middle there And then maybe for a little bit more decoration on the bedside. Yeah, you could just have a hazard sign. <gasps> you could do like paintings. Make it look pretty nice. You know, do your thing, decorate it how you want. You could even add like rugs underneath it to make it that much cleaner. And then like if I wanted to in this corner, for example, make like a lounge, you could do that. So you have like a couch, for example, you have an ottoman there in front of it. You have like a single chair, just hanging about.
You could have a stereo. I probably wouldn't place it there, but so you get the idea. Or even a radio. There are TVs somewhere. I just don't know where the TVs are. Thought they would be under decoration, but maybe they're in power. I don't know where the TVs are. Thought they would be under miscellaneous. You know, alongside the radios and stuff. Oh, they're in furniture. That's why. Again, another thing you could do too is you could either have one public washroom or you can do like the corner thing where you give each individual room its own private washroom. But then like over here you can have, you know, for the residential, like a, a table, maybe you need to save space a little bit. You have an average size one. You can make them desks, because there's office desks. You have the chairs here for the people to eat. You could put like food items and stuff on top of it. You have the option to You can like make your own desks, so like you can shape them however you want, kind of thing. Make your own desks, put like because there's no clean monitors, I would always just kind of put like one of these on top of it. And then if you're close enough to power. Like, we'll take this for a second. If you're close enough to power, it lights on. To act as a monitor kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, you would have, like... Dressers, maybe. No hampers. If you wanted like a hamper in the room. Storage. Whatever you wanted to put in the residential. And you could have rooms that are like so you would have like a room there, a room there. Um maybe put like a bathroom here, a room there, a room there. And that should be enough in all honesty because two more quick pieces of information, I think. The limit for dwellers in Vault 88 is around 30. So there isn't a huge reason to go above and beyond and build a bunch of residential rooms anyway. And another quick piece of information, at least in the vanilla game, unless you assign like people stuff all the way down here, people, I don't want it to deter you from using all of the extra space down here because it's the only one that lines up perfectly with like a staircase to just kind of keep building. But unless like people have a reason to come down here, settlers generally don't wander down here by themselves. So you might have this like huge space down here as well. And unless they have like beds and stuff assigned to them, they just won't come down here at all. Which is just kind of like, like unless you're using mods or something, it's just flaws of this DLC. like. I feel like I can speak on it because I've spent so much of my time with this DLC and this workshop specifically, but like, they had such a good concept, but there's so many shortcomings that it's just frustrating at the end of the day because like I have so many creative ideas and ways to expand it, but because of the engine, because of the caverns, because of how it's designed you can't execute it properly but 
that's essentially it when it comes to building rooms and stuff um i kind of went over like basic ways to build the rooms themselves but when it comes to decorating them i did it quickly a because i didn't want to waste too much of your guys's time but b because the whole point of settlement building is to be creative and discover things on your own if you're wanting it to be as like realistic and clean as some of the other vaults in the game i'd recommend going to vault 81 to just see kind of how they have everything designed but after you have the atrium and the rooms and stuff planned out um the best way to personalize and to make it your own is to just get creative and decorate it however you wish i gave you a few ideas both displayed in game and just expressed verbally i hope that helps um i don't plan on making any more fallout related videos on my own but if there's anything you'd like to see me cover especially with fallout 4 i have lots of time especially settlement building so please feel free to leave a comment and i will get back to it but i do appreciate all of the support everyone has given me throughout the years i started the channel making fallout videos fallout's one of my all-time favorite game series it's always going to have a special place in my heart thank you everybody so much for watching if you if it helped you consider leaving a like and recommending sharing it to people who are also um checking out fallout 4 everybody i hope you all have a wonderful night and see you around